Hi students, let's look at this question here, which is on um, uh, complex numbers taken from the year 2020 ASRJC paper one, question eight, part B. So for the positive integer n, a complex number z is such that modulus z n is equal to one over two. By contrary, the conjugate of one plus two z two n show that two z n over one plus two z two n is a real number. Okay. Now the con com. Uh, we need to consider the conjugate of this uh real, this complex number here. Okay. So the first thing is. To understand, to show that this is real, we, we need to show that the imaginary part is zero. That's, that's precisely. And also, we need to know that the conjugate pair, the reason why we need to multiply a conjugate pair is because you need to know that by multiplying with any uh, a, a conjugate pair when they are multiplied by each other, they will get you a real value. All right, so you can just quickly do a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi. So this will just be a squared plus b squared, which is actually a real value. So it's very clear that if we want to show that this is a real number, we just need to multiply by the conjugate uh, pairs, right? So this this 2zn over here, 1 plus 2z2n. So what I'm going to do is actually just going to take 2zn and um, over 1 plus 2z2n and multiply with 1 plus 2z2n conjugate. 1 plus 2z2n and conjugate as well, okay? That's about it. So once done, uh, you know that this would definitely be a real value, okay? Because these are conjugate uh, multiplication of conjugate pairs. So since uh, they are conjugate pairs, since since uh, uh, one plus two z two n, am I right? And one plus two z two n conjugate uh, conjugate pairs pairs, okay? Hence, 1 plus 2z, 2n, multiplied by 1 plus 2z, 2n conjugate, is actually a real value. Okay, so there's a real value there. So I'm going to let this be, uh, let's say this, uh, let this be k. Okay, so I'm just going to let this be k, then we, 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 are, we are good to go. Let this be k, let's just keep putting there, so this is... Uh, this is real. So this is real. That, that's pretty okay. So then what I'm going to do, the, the reason why I write it in K is because I, I can just simplify this as K. And this is 2ZN. Then just remember that the conjugate will just attach like a sticky note. So it just at, attach to every single one here. And what, what we're going to do is actually just one conjugate. And you if you want to, you can just conjugate the whole thing here. But conjugate uh, uh, Z2N conjugate. All right, so then this case there, conjugate one will definitely be a uh, one. The real value when you conjugate it is just the value itself. So I'm gonna just rearrange this so that the two will be there. Okay, this is Zn, and this will be one plus two conjugate, uh, Z conjugate two n. Okay, so two conjugate will be two, and then, uh, we're just gonna write it down, all right? So this will be uh, 2k. Then we're gonna examine what was given to us because what we were given was actually uh, z. Maybe I can just put zn. Okay, maybe I just put zn. I think likely need the conjugate here to n. Okay, I, I I need the zn conjugate because I I was given <coughs> modulus of zn. Um. Uh, Modulus of Zn is actually uh, 1 over root 2. This is the same as Zn as such, right? So in other words, uh, Zn is actually 1 over, can okay, let Zn equals 1 over root 2 e i theta, and that will be Z uh, n conjugate, which is be 1 over root 2 e minus i theta, okay? I think uh, once we've done that, I think it should be pretty pretty clear because we have done this quite a few times in class. So this is 2k. Zn could just be um, 1 over root 2 e i theta. And then this would just be 1 plus 2, um, 1 over 2 e minus i theta square. Oh, shucks, this is uh, 2. Wait, so then this would then be um, 
yeah, yeah, this is done. Then we could square each other. Then, then that would be great uh, too. The constant can just leave it uh, on top. Then we try and show that this is actually like a, you know, a real value. So this part here, this will be two, okay. A root two. So I'm going to put the root two below, E I theta. Okay, and this will be one plus two. 1 over 2 e minus 2 i theta as such. So this will be 2 uh, k root 2. Maybe I could just put root 2 on top, but I think this is pretty okay. 1 plus e minus 2 theta i. Okay, then we could just do the uh, normal indices here. You just multiply this in okay on this case here will be quite straightforward already because we then we will get this as k root 2 and this is e minus i theta plus e uh, i theta uh, multiplied by e i minus 2 theta so then this will just be normal indices be quite okay e i theta plus e i theta minus 2 i theta and that will give us 2 over k root 2 e i theta plus e minus i theta as such and once once again this is done we just k root 2 cosine theta plus i sine theta plus cosine negative theta plus i sine negative theta okay so th this is pretty okay i think this once we are done we, we we could actually we know that this is actually a real value because cosine theta uh cosine negative theta is positive cosine theta and this will just be by sine theta and that will be 2 over k okay, root 2 and this is 2 cosine theta and what is left behind is just 4 cosine theta over k root 2 this is a real value definitely so shown <coughs> alright uh, so that's how we do uh, this question here proficiently if you have any questions or comments at all, please uh, let us know and I will see you in the next question.